Um, yeah, I've, I've always been quite taken with systemograms that I found at World of Systems from Stevens Institute of Technology. And it, there's just, there seems to be something about the, the, the nature of the, the diagram that's visually seductive. It sort of, in, in addition to being informative, it just sort of captures one attention and makes you want to want to look at it more and pay attention and, and understand what it's trying to tell you. So since <clears throat> since I do everything else in Insight Maker, I thought I would uh, spend a few minutes and see if I could create systemograms in Insight Maker. And obviously I figured it out, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video, would I? So the my tool of choice for the individual items is the picture tool and <clears throat> I that it's my my element of choice because there are no restrictions on the the labels that you place on them because Insight Maker was developed as a modeling and simulation tool. Stocks, flows, stocks, variables, links, and flows have intended uses in equations and there are restrictions on the label. So so here <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and and use the picture element because it's just supposed to be a picture and there aren't any restrictions. And at the moment, since I don't really want a picture on it, I'll simply come over here and and select this so that it's a picture with no picture. And tell it that I want the the label to actually go in the middle. So I now have an item and I can I can continue to make these but once I've made one it's much easier to just hold the hold the control key and make make copies of them or if I select all of them I can make copies of those too. So this is another item and and don't get too carried away that the the labels aren't meaningful. This this is just to to do a of a functional development what working more more stuff just just working through the steps to actually create the pieces and why not some more we call this various stuff and just other stuff. Now, in in other places where I've used, I've demonstrated the development of, of rich pictures using Insight Maker. Once I've created items, I simply use a link to connect the items together, and those links then stay as I as I move things around, and I can in fact click on a link hold down the shift key and put a couple of handles on it so that I can I can then curve that that link as I need to and if if I need to straighten it out I can simply select the handle drag it off and drag it back and it straightens back out in the way the way that that I look at the systemograms the connections are to to individual items which I just depicted though in certain instances there are connections to groupings of items so what I ended up doing was saying all right let me use the let me use the the folder tool so I'll select these three items and I'll click on folder and it puts a folder around it and call it group of stuff and once I put them in a folder they're in fact sort of together now I can move whoops I can move the individual items in the folder and once I do that notice that this is highlighted so that I can go from here to here which ends up being from the folder to an individual item and I can put these two items in a different folder and label that another group and if you if you happen to end up with with an item that's right in the center of this folder, when you click over the top of it, it's hard to tell whether you're pointing it at the individual item or the folder itself. So if you just move it out of the way, then you're back to 
being sure that you've got the right connection. And if needs be, you can connect from an item to an item so that you can go from inside of, of one grouping to inside of another. Though, from what I've seen, or the ones I've looked at so far, I don't think that I've seen a, an internal connection. I, you can get rid of these. Now, additionally, um, as I said, that you can select a link and put nodes on it so you can curve it. One of the, the things about, if you look at the systemograms, there are, there are labels on the relationships to tell you what's happening between the entities. The, the default name for a link is simply link, so the software doesn't display it, but if I call this anything other than link, that relationship then shows up and there's a little node on it so that I can actually reposition it. And there are um, style tools here that one can use to alter the various aspects of, oh that's a disgusting color, as well as change the color of the line and the, the text that's on it. Did I change that text? I don't know. So, so by doing that, and then and you can move the pieces around and continue. The nice thing about this is that once you develop these <coughs> develop systemograms with with folders, you can in fact collapse them and simply see the the larger picture and, and depict the, the influence at the larger external perspective and as you want to delve into them you can go ahead and, and open them and close them. There is an additional dimension here in that that I can go ahead and go to the web and say I don't know what was what was that picture I said oh it's whatever so I could go to someplace like Google and do a search for images and I can find money I can right click on this and that was uh, open Open link in a new tab. What's wrong here? All right, there's one. Then I can right click on this, tell it to copy the URL, and I can go back here and select this and paste this in the displayed image slot and tell it to put the label at the bottom. So I then have, rather than simply have a block, I actually have an image. And I could have an image on things that are inside of a folder. Fix this text. Or I could actually affix an image to the folder itself so that there is there is an image for the folder and when I click and open the folder I see what's in the folder but I get a visual I get an abstraction concept for the elements this probably doesn't make much more make too much sense with all of the pieces being having the same picture on them. Let me take a different picture here. So I can dis depict the relationships 
and and they end up being somewhat similar to to rich pictures and there's a, another video someplace about creating rich pictures though um i found this quite fascinating and this is a mess because it was done so quickly but i have in fact done done one that i spend a bit more time on so that here are individual elements within folders here's an item overlaid with a picture here's a folder overlaid with a picture so that if i look inside of this there are the actual entities that were inside of it and this this is actually uh, figure one from a paper by Blair B Boardman and Saucer so take a look at it so hope you found this informative take care bye